So I do not eat breakfast and I have my first meal of the day at 12 p.m. midday. And I've learned this from both Hamza and Luke Belmar, both entrepreneurs, that fasting is a productivity hack. Because I tried it myself, I've done it for a couple of months now and it's a sure strategy to get energy. So how does it work? Because we've been told by most of mainstream media and the big food companies that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And if you see some of our breakfasts, it's like Kellogg's, um, rice puffs, <laughs> I can think cocoa puffs, um, Lucky Charms for you Americans, because we don't have them in Australia, Captain Crunch, I, can, you, I, I don't know how I can say American brands, but not Australian brands, because I haven't touched cereals in such a long time. And these sh breakfasts are full of sugar and processed grains. Those are the last things you want in your diet. And why did they perpetuate this breakfast is the most important meal of the day? It's because, again, it's for a profit. It's to get people to eat. Because people didn't usually eat in the morning. They'd probably just wait until lunchtime or brunch and just have a heavy meal to break their fast. But yeah, and also logically, it's like I want to have energy for the rest of the day. So I need to put energy in the morning to fuel me for the rest of the day. But from what I've found, I get very sleepy around lunchtime if I eat breakfast, like anything for breakfast, like porridge, cereal, even like bacon and eggs. Like the energy that the I believe, and also from what I've researched, it's because of your body digesting the food is why you're feeling so sleepy. It's depending on the food source as well. Because if it's like pure protein, it's probably like, I remember instead of having like a normal breakfast, I actually had steaks for breakfast. <laughs> I tried that for a couple of days and I didn't get as sleepy. Like I was well awake until like past three, past three o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, it's like the quality of a breakfast probably matters, but it's better to just not eat breakfast at all because your body, like you'll get hungry. You'll get hungry, but the body starts using the fat storages in your, in your own body to use as energy. Because that's all fat is. It's just stored up energy that the body can use for later. The only reason why we're getting so fat in the modern age is because we've got a plethora and abundance in food sources. So we start eating more than we have to. So then the body, with all that energy, has to store it somewhere. So it stores it in fat cells to be used later. Again, like for some of us, is eating an addiction or a nest or actually fuel? Because from how I see food, it's fuel, it's energy. Like, like if you remember back in high school, like one of the basic like Newton's laws of physics is like, or fundamental laws of reality is energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred from one from one form to the other. So to get energy for us, it's from the night before, the dinner we had the night before. Because also it's another thing of not eating too late because when your body's asleep, it's repairing itself. You want to give your body the chance to repair itself. So in order to do that, you fast. But don't fast for too long because again, experiment with this because I experimented and I think 12 o'clock is the best time for me to break my fast because if I try and prolong it, I start getting like a bit dizzy and headaches and I try and supplement it with water. Like it's probably best if you if you want to fast for a very long time, like, just eat the like, supplement and vitamins. But yeah, because I think the dizziness starts happening because if the body can't, for some time can't be using the fat cells, it will then start using muscle to replenish energy, which is definitely not what you want. <laughs> definitely. So experiment, because you might only last until 11. So you go, okay, I'll break my fast at 11. And as a productivity hack, you'll just feel more energetic, more hungry while doing your work. Because now I have do my work in the morning. Because I know for myself, because I've got a, oh, a casual job, I know if I try and do any work after having done my job, my five hour shift, I will be less inclined to do hard work. Like I'd rather do it straight up in the morning, 
trait when I wake up, when I'm hungry, so I can just get the work done. And to break fast, I usually, if you watch the other video about gaining five kilograms, I just eat the normal beef and rice, because it's probably best, from what I've researched, to break your fast with protein dense foods, rather than like refined carbs. Again, it's the quality of the food you eat that matters as well. So, if you're feeling tired in the morning or in the afternoons, just try fasting. Also, another thing with fasting in the morning is don't have milk. If you like tea or coffee, you have to drink black. Like for myself, I love tea, but I get to, I drink black tea, like Earl Grey black tea with no, um, no sugar or any milk. But instead, when it gets to lunchtime, I, I make myself a cup with milk in it because at least it breaks the fast. Because milk, from what I've looked up, it does break your fast and you don't get the benefits of fasting as much. And those benefits, like I've got a rough, again, the body repairs itself, you feel more energetic. There's probably more benefits that I'll have to research, but from the benefits that I'm getting, it's worth me fasting. So it goes for drinks as well, like protein shakes breaks fast. Orange juice, wait, maybe, I don't, milk definitely breaks fast, definitely, definitely, but to drink water or black tea, nothing of actual food substance, because that will break your fast. So that's my tip, if you're wanting to be productive, and wanting to get more work done, have more energy, don't eat until 12 o'clock. Also, if you're bulking, just, just have like 1200 or 1500 calorie meals at lunchtime and dinner so you can split your calories between two meals rather than three. Um, so <laughs> I hope this helps. I hope this helps if you're considering fasting.